Uh, back to uh, back to Sweet Dream Stadium after a couple of uh, performances tonight. I got to build like a statue of you or something here at some Man, point. I'm trying to get that bronze statue out here. You know, I, they got the they got the one over here at the PI. I think it was Joe Lewis. You know, uh, I think Sweet Dream's gonna get one in here soon. <laughs> I like it. I mean, are you, I, I'm sure you know you want to be on pay-per-views and the big cards and all that that'll certainly be coming in time but do you feel comfortable here I mean, this has got to feel like home to you man yeah man i feel i feel good here I feel, uh it's business as usual you know uh sweet dream stadium like you said it's comfortable here you see the the performances speak for themselves and uh yeah just comfortable bro i know you've been having a little fun kind of talking about the most successful contender series alum but i'm curious is, yeah. is that is that title important to you i mean do you want to, to people to realize that like, you you are the greatest to come off the show no uh, everybody entitled to their own opinion but uh i just i just put it out there because i feel like it <laughs> to me is true you know um i don't think anybody that's coming off the contender series has has beat the level of competition repeatedly that I have done it in the fashion that I have and uh, ha or have the trajectory that I have. So, yeah. Back to back main events. I mean, that means something in the UFC for sure. I guess talk about the, the feel. I mean, is it is it any different? Is I don't it, know anybody else off contender series who got those. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> What's, so what's it feel like for you? I mean, in this role, I mean, is it is it you know kind of pressure packed or is it comfortable or do you hate the extra media? I mean, what's it like for you? Nah, bro, I don't I don't I don't put any extra pressure on myself because of the simple fact that it's still a fight. It's what I do every day. All I'm doing is what I do every day. You know, all it, the, to 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 everybody else it makes it like, oh man, this is huge. This is a big moment. It's, and it is. Don't get me wrong, it is. And I and I am understanding that, but I also understand what it takes to to capitalize on that is stick to what you did to get here, you know? So, I'm nice. stick with that. Tiago as an opponent, I mean, obviously he's had some setbacks, but still a very dangerous guy. I mean, what do you think when you assess him? Same, just as you said, I feel like he uh, he is a dangerous guy. He still possesses that danger, and it's still to be respected. You know, uh, people always talk about, like, the Paul Craig thing. I learned respect the game, and he's going to get that respect. But know that that respect comes with a lot of fucking pain and punishment. Nice. Knowing that you do have to respect that power, does that change the way you? I mean, I think about you as aggressive, as you know, strike heavy. I mean, do you have to adjust anything based on his power and based on that respect that you have for him? Adjust anything as far as what? Everybody I fought had power. Who didn't have power that I fought? Nobody at light heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do it. You got to deal with it the same way. Power is everybody has power. You know, it's part of what you deal with with dealing with fighting. I don't overthink things. I understand the basics of fighting and know what fighting is. And I take it as that. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Man, this rise that you're on, man, are you thinking about rankings? I mean, you're, too, he, you're considerably top five with win here, man. I mean, the upper echelon of the division. Are you thinking, hey, that's that's where I deserve to be and, the, and those are the guys I'm ready to compete with at this point in my career? I mean, yeah, I felt that way. I felt like I was ready to compete with the best in the world, and I felt like I belonged with the best because I believe in myself that much, you know. So, um it isn't it isn't just a crazy thing for me to think like oh yeah i'm there it's just yeah yeah let's get it let's go i want it i'm hungry for it i'm not shying away from it i'm not i'm not shy about it i'm 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 here i'm here staying full forward standing up all of that so after this fight because i feel like we've been following your eyes and say hey man pay attention to this kid it looks like he's gonna be somebody it looks like he's gonna be somebody after this is this when we start saying no He's a contender. We need to be talking about where he fits into that title picture now. That's up to y'all. That's uh, that's up to everybody else to build up their narratives. As you know, people going to build up whatever narrative they want. You know, um, I'm just going to keep doing it. Just know. <laughs> you know what? You're just going to know what to expect. That's all I can do is just keep giving you what, you know what I mean, what you should expect from me. Last thing for me, I know you say, you, you know, kind of don't overthink it or whatever. Your last two performances have been pretty incredible. I mean, do you feel like this is another one that you can go in there and dominate and get out quickly? Or because of his experience, because of who he's been in there with, are you feeling like this might be one where we got to go deep? I don't think about getting in there and getting, out, getting, getting in there and getting them done quickly, period. Whenever Johnny Walker dropped, I was still ready to go rounds. Whenever uh, Jimmy Crew dropped, I was still ready to go rounds. You know, um, I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go to step. I'm trying to go when it's time to step. Outside of your house, uh, outside of yourself, give us the top three contender series alums. Outside of myself, the top three contender series alums I say will be Sean O'Malley, uh, Kevin Holland, and Alex Perez. In that order? Not so much in that order, no. Yeah. But yeah, just like like that. You know. I don't know if you've seen him. Deontay Wilder's here today. Would it be cool to have him right. watch your fight on Saturday? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see Deontay. I actually, I actually talked to him, and I asked him. I asked him if he was gonna come out uh, a Saturday. He told me. He told me he was gonna check. We was gonna see, and uh, he might, he might pop out if, if he can. Hopefully, he does though. You know, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Hey Jamal, um, people say that Thiago Santos isn't the same Thiago Santos from um, from when he fought John Jones. Do you do you see it that way, or do you think it's just the same guy? Just it's just he's he's been having off performances. I don't give a fuck for the simple fact of I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, what do you think? I'm in the gym training like, oh, he's not who he used to be, so I don't have to worry. No, I train for him to be the best fighter in the world. I train. That's the, that goes with that respect for the game, you know. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've heard people say, oh, he's not the Tiago he used to be, the old Tiago. Bro, even if he was still the Tiago Santos that stepped in front of John Jones, oh, I'd still whoop his ass, period. It's not going to change what's going to happen at all. Um. It was your three-year anniversary of your Contender Series fight just two weeks ago. Um, how important was that fight? And I guess kind of just re reflect on that fight. Uh, it was everything. You know, I'm not here talking to you guys. I'm not having these moments. I'm not getting these opportunities without without the Contender Series. You know, I remember it. I remember uh, what it felt like going through and everything. And now just looking back on it is crazy. You know, it, it kind of puts like a you know, it's like a it's a heartfelt feeling because it's just like wow. You know. I showed up, you know, I showed up and I showed out and I've been continuously following my word of what I said I was going to do. You know, all those things like, like, bro, I used to sit and think, watch UFC, bro, and like, bro, like, mist up in the eyes, like, tear, bro, chest pounding, be two, three o'clock in the morning, you know, just, I probably, what am I, just walking, bro, just pacing, bro, just in my head, bro, just, man, I can't, <laughs> I can't explain it, you know what I mean? Like, I truly can't explain it. And for it to come full circle like this, it didn't stop here. It only started here. And it's going. It's going. A couple of years ago, you told me that you didn't feel like the UFC were promoting you correctly. And um, now you're headlining your, headline your two last sh fights, man. Um, what do you think changed? Like, do you, do you think they saw, like, this guy got it? I, I did what I said. I don't, but that's all of that, well, the way I'm promoted, all of that shit, I don't care. You know what I mean? Is is uh, well I do. I'm not gonna say that I don't. I ain't gonna say. Nah, 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 I'm not gonna step out and say that I, I don't. I do, I do, but I don't control that. I focus on the things that I control. I feel like that's what they. That I didn't give them no choice but to see anything else. They ain't had no choice but to start putting me in these spots. I'm not gonna give them a choice, you know, because. This is the, this the beautiful thing about this sport. In basketball, you can you can have a you can have a, a off a off series or something. You get knocked off by a team. You never really get to have to meet this team or meet that. You ain't got no choice but to run into me, bro. You ain't got no choice but to run into me. Cause I ain't going nowhere. And uh, finally, for me, uh, a couple months ago, there was a viral video of you and your manager pulling off a <laughs> prank. Can you can you kind of talk about that? Yeah, man, he got me, man. He got me. He got what he got with a uh, he got with a real prankster on me. That's the that seems to be the trend. That's how people land on the playing field. They get professional. They get professional help and go outside. Yeah, they play. They played it on me smooth. We were sitting there. We were talking, discussing tickets. He's all like, yeah, well, this and that. And then like somebody comes up and says something. I'm like, oh yeah. And then like you know, it's Phoenix. And then Phoenix, like there are fans everywhere. You know, they'll come up to you. You never know what they're gonna say. They offer to buy you stuff, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he just like walks up and he's like, oh, don't want, I like go to dap him up and he just like leaves me hanging. And he like gives me this look, like like this look, like and if you from where I'm from, that look mean a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? So he like, I'll try you on God. I'm like, hold on, bro. You know, just check, just check your temperature real quick and see, see how much you really ready to boil. <laughs> Thank you. Just jump, oh, jumping one quick one back to Contender Series. I know that you have respect for. Did you watch the, the fights yesterday? And, and what did you think of the fights and some of the talent that came out from that show last week or last uh, night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely. I was here. I was here. I watched the, I watched the fights, and uh, I seen them, and it was, it was amazing. It was fire. I don't know if you, if you actually catch some camera saying, angles. you see the guy with the white hat just jumping around, like losing. That's me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan, bro. You know, uh, the, that last fight that uh, was Duncan. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, Bro, you get clocked, getting caught, getting put up with all types of adversity, and then, to, you know what I mean, to pull it out. Like, bro, that's what that show, that's what the show is about. Honestly, I feel like he should have signed both of them. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was, it was, it was amazing, and it, and it, and it made me, gave me another 
sense of that pride of being a part of that show because we're proving that this this is it. And I was going to kind of ask you about that. I mean, does it is what is it about the show? And I know they have a sense of pride, but what is it about the show? Because everybody that seems to make it through that show and have a good performance there is is just having a hell of a hell of a time in the UFC. They're just running over people. Because they understand. Because they understand what it was. You got to think. You've been sitting, trimming, like, hey, pick me, pick me. That, that's like. That's like if you was in a bar or somewhere. Let's say like when you was in school, you had the girl, you had the girl that you liked that made you feel like that. And it's like, yo, pick me, pick me, what? What well, happens she come up and she pick you? You know what I mean? And now it's time for you to step up to that. Yeah. And you step up to it. And you man up, you're gonna start to walk a little different. You're gonna start to hold yourself a little different. So I think that I think it's I think it's that the pressure of the show. It turns you pressure make diamonds, right? That's awesome. Best of luck.